Oh no, Valter's back and I'm losing my mind. I'm also trying to go through all these backlogs of quests that I have to go through now. <laughs> oh God, there's so much to do. Yes, Valter is come and he's returned and with it, he's brought one of the, well, I wouldn't, I don't know if it would be the hardest, but it was the most stress inducing for me at the time because uh, God damn was he hard and it still gave me a lot of PTSD to even try and do that one. So here is all of the stuff you need to, uh, of course, get another Vulture in case you want. And of course, more orbs as well. It's always fun to get orbs. Um, but to get a few other things doing, going and working on it, um, you know, specifically these two right here to get another Vulture and to, of course, get a free orb. I'm going to just remind everyone to do something that I've been doing. So I've been spending most of my day leveling up units and Vulture was coming out. So I, of course, leveled him up. And we're going to go over to Arena Assault, and I'm going to try and see if we can't uh, get something to show. So occasionally you're going to start seeing things like Brent here, but I I did a little bit of a test earlier. I'm pretty sure Brent had a weapon. Oh, wait, no, does he not? He does not. Okay, even better. So basically, as long as you have Sharina or another Valter, and you happen to be around the same point level, which you should, at least most of the time you are, um, if not, just unequip some... I'm kidding, but uh, stat based and things like that. But still, nonetheless, you should be able to run into a few of these where basically you'll run into a Vulture that doesn't have a weapon and you can just do this for no stamina cost whatsoever and it will count towards the quest. And as you can see, Vulture's having a lot of fun. He's he's being entertained, all right? Definitely being entertained. I'm going to have to turn this on and just be like, hey, Sages, how long has this been going? Way too long. <laughs> still, nonetheless, yeah, um... Good way to do it. I'm going to put my Vulture up, and if you ever need to, you know, hopefully you'll find me. If you do, feel free to kill him, because that's an easy way to get the quest done, you know, and I don't want you guys to have to wait on getting your Vulture at all. And I don't believe Vulture's on any map that I can think of, so that's a fun thing, don't you think? <laughs> oh, God, just thinking about having to do any of that at, at all scares me I, i'd rather watch this just this mindlessly but uh let's let's move on to the next thing that we can actually discuss shall we so vaulter's back of course but what exactly what else do we have to talk about well i do want to mention one more thing and i kind of forgot to talk about it when i was taking a look at the quest earlier a lot of you sent me this and were telling me about the tutorial quest yeah i saw them i'm, I'm going through these now actually um I've been leveling up characters all day, but yes, there's new seals, new initiate seals in case you want to be able to, you know, get some really nice seals. Um, these, of course, are separate from the other ones. So, you know, having another defense, attack, speed and health seal are definitely really nice as re res as well, I guess. So, all right. But let's talk about what's coming for Fire Emblem, because a lot of you have been asking me, Sages... What's been going on? What, what's going to happen in February? Because usually we, at the start of every month, I do a thing where we talk about what's coming in the next month when it comes to heroes and all that fun stuff. So let's talk about that a bit and what we know. So I'm just going to tell you right now, starting on the 8th, on, <laughs> yeah, the 8th, for your special little summons, uh, all of those who are really excited about that, we're going to have a new summon on the 6th that will be focused around movement skills, of course. Um, but beyond that, on the 8th, we are going to have Valentine's, or at least what I assume is going to be Valentine's, because we have a special banner coming out, which means we're going to have some special units available during that time. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to that, and I would really love to hear what you guys want for characters for that event. Like, I know a lot of you, you know, want a character, so pitch me an idea in the comments, I'd love to hear it, and you know, see what we can come up with when it comes to Fire Emblem um, and heroes in general. Eh? Yeah, OK. All right. So <laughs> let's uh, let's just let's talk about some of the other things that are coming out. So Valter is here now. You can easily go and do Valter if you want. That means uh, I'm pretty sure Leon is gone. Also, your daily map, in case you haven't already done it, go do that. You know, your daily one for orbs, you know, all that fun stuff. But uh, let's talk about what's coming next week as well outside of the daily maps. The daily maps are going to last, I believe, all month, at least 28 days, 25 days. I forget exactly, but uh, about as long as the current 
you know, anniversary event is as well. Um, starting on the 3rd of February, we are going to have new maps that are developer challenges. So if you guys remember any of those at all, like, um, I'm not sure if anyone remembers that drog from that one special map that was disastrously scary and just messing with my head. Um, a lot of those maps were really quite challenging, and honestly, I'm really excited to see them come back as well. Um, we still have, of course, the uh, he uh, Hero Rises, and I've been voting again for, of course, our lovely, lovely uh, Ike. You know, our I'm still voting Vanguard Ike. I might throw some in for Olivia as well. I know a lot of you guys want Winter Tharja as well. Might do that too. Um, starting on the 8th, we do have more coming out. <laughs> a lot more. We have the special training maps that will be included for bows, magic, melee, ranged, and, you know, all of that other stuff under the sun. And, of course, with those, we're also getting the grand hero battles that are returning on a daily basis. So, at least for, from what we can tell... You know, I'd say, hey, I think it was uh, seven days, and that includes Xander. So, yes, there's a lot of craziness coming out for that as well. Then, of course, we also have the illusionary, uh, the illusory uh, dungeon, which is the tap battle. That's also, I believe, coming on the 8th, if I recall correctly. There is a lot coming out for heroes um and from the eighth you're going to want to probably think about towards the end of february that we're going to have of course another summoning session that will of course include characters that are much more like our good old pals over here on uh, not that <laughs> how long does this last wow that's almost ending well I'm, I'm mostly meaning this wow that's almost done jesus they did not give us very much time for poor old ike there yeah all the more reason to vote for him at least for me but uh Still, nonetheless, um, we'll have more characters like this that will be permanent additions. I wonder how well that's going to go. But still, um, it's going to be exciting the next few months, uh, <laughs> next month or so. We, ha we have a lot of new game modes. You guys get to see me flail at a rhythm game, which, again, I am terrible at. I am terrible at rhythm games, but uh, I think it's going to be fun. And I'm leveling up a bunch of characters. I'm working on my Dragon Emblem team finally for once. In, um... I also, I also just, I've gotten so much done. My Felicia's done. I'm working on Raven now. Just so much great stuff. I'm really excited just to show you guys builds, do things like arena assault with my old roulette wheel. Oh, God, I'm, <laughs> it's been a while since, you know, I've, I've felt the energy from you guys. You guys have been amazing the last few days, uh, last few weeks even. So, yes, um, thank you. And I'm also going to announce that for the last bit of the month here, we're going to be reviving another Gleam contest. I figured we could probably do it because I do have enough to give back to you guys again this month, hopefully. So Gleam will come back probably around mid-February for another 150 um, when it comes to that. Uh, outside of that, we also have a few interesting little bonuses for those who join the Discord that we'll be announcing a little bit later. So if you guys want to, feel free to tune in on the Discord and all that other stuff. So, yep. All right, <laughs> that's the basic gist of February, guys. We have so much crap coming up in the in the line, like seriously. And I hate illusionary dungeon. Why do why does it have to? Why is it? Uh, <laughs> I don't like rhythm games. Kill me. Can you please kill me? That would be great. I would be so happy right now. Ah, man, the sweet release of death. I'm so looking forward to it. All right, so <laughs> catch you nerds later. Wishing you the best. Kisses, smooches, all that fun stuff. I'm going to go level up a little dragon girl. And, you know, that you can take that as any context you like. All right. Later, nerds.